Rumble. I'm editor of Amateur Gardening Magazine. I'm going to show you how to take cuttings of uh, sage, Salvia officinalis. Fantastic plant this. Not only is it great in the kitchen, it produces lovely blue flower spikes in the summer. So, and it's an easy plant to propagate from, a great one to learn the uh, art of, of pr simple propagation. We're going to do tip cuttings, soft cuttings today. So the idea is I've got a my stock plant, obviously. It's an old one that I've, I've, has got a bit ragged but still produces good shoots every year. I've got a pot of, of uh, compost. This is uh, seed and cuttings compost. Uh, it's been uh, firmed down lightly, flat surface and lightly watered. I've got some grit, a good sharp knife and a cutting board. So what we're going to do first is take some nice long shoots from here to put into the, into the compost. What I want to do is cut off long shoots just above a pair of leaves, giving me about six inches length. So I'll just take that there. Okay, there's one. Let's see if I can find a better one. That's not bad. Oh, there we are. That's two. That's three. There's a good one down here, I think. That's four, okay. What we've done is we cut just above a pair of leaves in the plant so that that will grow away and get you get two shoots out of, one out of either side of where the leaves break, like that. So you'll actually get stronger growth, bushier growth on the parent plant. Now we're gonna prepare these cuttings to put into the compost. Here's a closer look at what I'm doing with the cutting. Um, I'm going to uh, cut it just below the leaf joint there. Take that away. Then I'm going to remove the lower leaves. Like that. And then I'm going to cut the larger leaves in half. Like that. So we're left with that. Then we'll bring our compost in there. Dip a hole with the knife and pop the cutting in just to there, okay? So the leaves are just above the compost surface. The base of the leaves are just above the compost surface. Perfect. Okay, I'll go around and I'll make uh, about four or five more cuttings on this uh, in this pot. So let's get on with that. Okay, that's about right. I don't want to overcrowd it because if they get too close and they get they start to touch, then you can get fungal infections setting up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to top the pot with a bit of gravel, horticultural grit. There we go. Push it around the base. That helps to um, keep the surface of the compost very free draining uh, and stop any water sitting, which can set up rots again. Very important to avoid too much moisture around the... Um, around the necks of the plants here. There we are, that's just about right. Okay, so now what we want to do is water that in thoroughly. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll show you how to do this. I'll put some sticks around the edge, pull a plastic bag over the top to hold the moisture around the leaf area, uh, and that can go in a warm but shady spot uh, until the, the cuttings strike. Okay, so I've got my plastic bag. Sorry, it's a bit grotty, but it's what I could find at the time. A few bits of stick, which we're going to push in around the edge of the pot. Yep, and there. there. Try and get them roughly the same height, so... Uh, not too much of a mess. There we are. That should just hold the... Put one more on the other side. That should hold the bag reasonably away from the cuttings, that's the idea. Okay. Just make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. I think I'll just raise that a little bit. There we are. Right. And then we pop the bag over the top like that. Carefully does it so it doesn't damage any of the cuttings. Right. That'll be fine like that in a nice shaded spot but a nice warm spot and those should take in about six to eight weeks once we see roots coming through the bottom of the pot we can uh, then take them out of here and pop them on individually to give us some nice new plants for next year there you go salvia cuttings